Hi, Naptime friends. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. I appreciate all of you so much. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Today, I'm going to be adding a second layer to this piece. These are all the colors I used on the first layer. I didn't like how it turned out, so I'm going to um, try to turn it into something beautiful. Now I'm just mixing up my Stone Coat Countertops white base tint and I keep my base tint in a little hydrogen peroxide bottle. I feel like it's easier to store that way. So the colors I'm using on this piece are the Lores Expressions Blushing Pink. It is a really beautiful pink. Uh, Stone Coat Countertops White Base Tint, Color Obsession Chocolate Brown Epoxy Paste, and some Maroon Gold. I also am using the Lores Expressions Rose Gold and I already pre-mixed my resin off camera. I will link a video down below um, that shows you how to mix up your resin if you want to check that out. So I'm just going in with my white down the middle here and um, I needed four ounces of each color so uh, off camera I actually mixed up two additional and well actually one additional cup of each color so you'll see me going in with the second cup right now with the white. I used about, I want to say 16 ounces of resin on this. Um, this was, like I said, a 20 inch glass round. And the glitter that I used wasn't an extra fine glitter. It was a chunky iridescent glitter. I have a, um, I'll show you in a little while. It's coming up here exactly which one I used. So right now I'm mixing up the Lores Rose Gold. I didn't need a whole lot since I was using it just for accents. And you guys, this is a beautiful color. If you want a rose gold, this one is so pretty. Um, I actually filmed this quite a while ago. I've been working on this piece for months. It's been like four, this, like four or five layers now. I just um, wasn't happy with it, but hopefully I'll be happy with it after all of this. So now I'm just going in with some clear and kind of just putting that around the blushing pink. That's a really, really pretty color. It's kind of, it reminds me of Dusty Rose. It's not transparent, it's opaque, and it um, is really, really shimmery. It's very beautiful. So now I'm just going to take my gloved hand and smooth all of the different sections out so they are totally covered and have good coverage. So now I'm just going in with a popsicle stick and just, you know, smoothing this out, kind of just blending it a little bit. And I used a new popsicle stick for the pink and white section because I didn't want to mix the colors. Now I'm going in with the rose gold, just kind of doing a line. You know how um, I've said in my previous videos, if you don't pour at an even pace, you'll get a wonky line. Well, that's what happened on this one. You can see it's kind of wobbly and wavy. And that was because I wasn't pouring at an even pace. But I'm going in with my gold now, just doing a little bit of gold accenting. And you can see when I took that popsicle stick and kind of blended the... Uh, brown and white and the blushing pink and the white together. It created a lot of bubbles, so we'll go in and pop those. Nothing to worry about, but it's kind of fun to just watch them pop too as you're working. So I'm just adding some more gold here. Now I'm going to go in with my heat gun and pop the bubbles, and this is on high heat. And I'm just going around and just going to blend everything out. Kind of hit it from up above and then kind of turn my heat gun at an angle and blend it that way down into the white as well. On this piece, I wasn't going for a lot of cells. Um, I, I actually didn't want any cells. Um, so you'll see what I ended up doing. I ended up putting a bunch of uh, crushed glass on this and kind of turning it into a mixed media piece. So now I'm just doing a super tilt and 
What's really awesome about that chunky glitter is it gave my base coat a texture. And you can see up here at the top, it's kind of like a jagged line. And what's causing that, you can see it especially with the rose gold, how it's kind of like zigzagging. And that is from the glitter. It had a little bit of a texture that was rised up off of the surface of the glass. And when I tilted it, the resin was moving and creating those lines when it was flowing off of the glitter that was raised up. If that makes sense, I hope that made sense. So I kind of really like that. Um, you'll see at the end, I've got some really awesome feathering in the chocolate brown section with the maroon gold. And that was uh, because of the chunky glitter that was underneath. Now I'm just going in with some more maroon gold, adding a little bit more. I wanted to give it a little bit more of a bronzy look. I always seem to mix up way too much gold every time I pour. I'm like, oh, well, I'll need like two ounces of gold. That's definitely way too much because usually gold is just a highlight. So what do you guys like to do with your leftover gold? Let me know down in the comments. Well, not your leftover gold, just your leftover resin in general. Now I'm going to go in and just kind of blend everything out with my heat gun on high heat. So this layer is basically done. I am just going to move it to my dust-free zone and let it cure and I'll see you for the next layer. So it has been about a week since I last poured on this and I'm just cleaning this off with some isopropyl alcohol and a rag. I'm going to go in with just some clear resin um, for this layer and I'm just going to pour it in a little line going across the top here. I'm taking a foam brush and I'm going to brush that out and just kind of spread it evenly going across the piece here. I'm going to be laying down some crushed mirror. It's kind of vase, I think it's called vase filler, yeah, from Michaels. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. And these foam brushes, you can't reuse them after you've um, resined with them. At least I don't think you can. Let me know down in the comments if you can. But I always just toss mine. So this is the glass. I'm just going in and sprinkling it right on to the resin here. It's super pretty and reflective. And you can see at the top where the chocolate brown is what I was talking about with the feathering that the glitter, um, the chunky glitter caused. You can see how it kind of just is wavy and so beautiful. So I'm just kind of taking the um, glass, the mirror, and pushing it uh, into the resin with a popsicle stick. And now I'm gonna take a little bit more clear and sprinkle that over the mirror. Not too much because it will take away from the reflection of the mirror, it kind of will make it dull. I'm going to be sprinkling some extra fine holographic glitter on here and that'll make it really, really shiny. This Recollections glitter from Michaels, I'm going to sprinkle that on there. So here is what it's looking like all cured. It is so sparkly. I love it. So pretty. And I'm actually going to be painting a little bit more glitter down at the bottom of this one. And I'm going to go in with my Mod Podge and just kind of paint a little section down at the bottom of the piece here. And you can see the um, chunky glitter off to the left, the iridescent glitter. That was what I used for the base at the start of the video. I got this off of Amazon. It's really pretty. So I just sprinkle that on and then tap off the excess. And then I'm going to go in with my Mod Podge again and make a little bit of a smaller section and then go in with some bronze glitter just to give it a little bit of a contrast. Add some bronze down to the bottom because we have that chocolate brown up at the top. So I'm just going to sprinkle off the excess and show you guys what it's looking like. This is, I took it outside so you can kind of see the shine. 
So off camera, I took some Posca pen and kind of outlined the mirror, but I did not like how it turned out. The Posca pen was really bright compared to the Maran Gold. So I'm going to be adding my final layer, and this is my Pro Marine resin. And I'm just going to be using clear and Maran Gold for this layer. So I'm going in with my clear and just adding it to the different sections here. And I'm going to um, basically smooth it out with my finger. Just kind of smooth it up to the glass and make sure it's all filled in. And you can feel it too when you go in with your finger. You can feel if there's any dry spots, just move the resin around. I like to do it this way. I feel like if you can feel the resin, it gives you, you know, less, less room for air. If you, I like my fingers better than a tool. <laughs> So now I'm just going to go in with my Maran Gold and basically outline the uh, crushed mirror sections. Basically trying to cover up that Posca pen that I put on there. I definitely should have done this to start with, but lesson learned. So I just about have all of my little gold sections outlined Then I'm going to go in with my heat gun and just pop bubbles and move the gold around a tiny bit, not too much. So now I'm just going in with the heat gun just to pop bubbles, just going evenly over the piece. And now I'm going to move the gold around slightly, not much at all. I don't want to add too much heat. I am going to be calling this layer done, so I'm um, just going to try to go in with a little bit more gold in any spots where I see some Posca pen popping up through there. And I'm going to take you guys in for a close-up. I'm loving the Maran gold, it's so pretty. And it's this thing is so sparkly, I love it. So I will show you what this looks like tomorrow when it is all dry and cured. So here it is. It's about 24 hours later and it's supposed to be cloudy here all week so I was trying to get uh, some good shots for you guys outside just so you could see how pretty it is. It's really got a lot of gold on it. I think I may have went overboard with the gold but what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I don't know if I overworked this piece. I don't know if I love it or if I don't love it. I'm definitely not going to add any more to it though. It's already been about five layers now so that's quite a bit of resin and uh, I need to figure out how I'm going to hang this thing. I think I'm going to do it uh, just kind of like how you would hang up a mirror. So this is the top section with the uh, Brown is my favorite. I love, love, love the feathering. See the feathering I was talking about earlier in the video from the chunky glitter that was on the base layer? That was uh, from the super tilt that I did and the glitter just kind of made that pattern up there so beautiful. I was trying to show you guys a full shot, but man, this thing was is heavy. It's like at least 20 pounds, so I couldn't hold it and do the camera at the same time. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you're having a great day. See you Wednesday. Bye.